My name is Kees de Lange from the University of Guelph and I'm a swine nutrition professor. Primarily it is growing finishing pigs and then very much the research is focused on nutrient utilization. So that means deriving nutrients from coal products in addition to corn and, and soybean meal and really to trying to understand interactions between feeding programs and pig performance potentials. I grew up in the Netherlands, very small uh, agricultural area. My father had the feed business, an animal feed business, and my oldest brother took it over. And that's now close to 100 years in the family. And because the oldest son took over the business, the younger ones had to go to school. So I was allowed to go to the university in Holland and I started animal nutrition. Initially it was a little bit more uh, aimed at uh, dairy, uh, but there was an opportunity for me to do my doctorate at the University of Alberta in Canada with a swine nutrition professor. And he really got me hooked on, uh, on swine nutrition. Then. It was, I think, first of all, a personal, it was an opportunity to leave the Netherlands and uh, begin a new life in, uh, in Canada. I think really it was more of a, a personal perspective rather than the, the science per se. But very quickly I recognized that there was a tremendous opportunity in protein and amino acid nutrition in, in pigs. Well, in, in fact, that's a little bit of a, a note as well. After I did my doctorate, I worked for a couple of years in the commercial feed industry. So I really had an opportunity to interact with farmers, get, get on the road and get a practical perspective of some of my research which I had done for my doctorate too. And then I worked in applied research for, uh, for about two years at the Prairie Swine Center. And then I've already been at the University of Well for more than 15 years. The topic that really is close to my heart is that in animal production, we need to reduce the reliance on foods and feeds that can be used for human consumption too. So a very important focus has to be the use of coal products, right from the biofuel and from the food industry, and really recycle those in value-added animal products. And I really hope that in the, in the future I can focus quite a bit of my research on, on that area. Yeah, I, I have been very fortunate, right? I'm, I'm from the Netherlands, so I've collaborated with my Dutch professor for many years. I've made some good friends in New Zealand, Australia, United States. So I've been very fortunate to have some multidisciplinary and international research programs, uh, which has been a great opportunity for me, but also for my students. Oh, I've had, I've, I've had many. Yeah, yeah, I've been very fortunate to work together with some people that were closer to retirement. Uh, my, my old professor from Holland, still very high on the list, Professor Verstegen, who has been recognized very well by the American Society of Animal Science, Professor Mohan from New Zealand, uh, Professor Sauer uh, from the University of Alberta, and another name in amino acid nutrition, Malcolm Fuller. He spent some time with me working at the University of Guelph as well. So I really have been very privileged to, to work with people that were very well established scientists in their fields. I think it is, a, it is still a privilege, I think, to produce food. And the emphasis has, you know, agriculture has declined a little bit, but I think there's an opportunity that, that it will come back, right? We just have, you know, seven billion people that arrived on the planet a few weeks ago. We need to double our food production by the year 2050. We need to increase animal protein production by about 20% over the next 20 years. So there are tremendous challenges and opportunities. And we need young people to be part and to contribute to, uh, to, to that science.